the king james bible the second book of the kings chapter 18 now it came to pass in the third year of Hosea, son of Elah, king of Israel, that Hezekiah, the son of Ahaz, king of Judah, began to reign. Twenty and five years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was also Abi, the daughter of Zechariah. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that David his father did. He removed the high places, and brake the images, and cut down the groves, and brake in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. And for unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it, and he called it Nehushtan. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among the kings of Judah, nor any that were before him. For he clave to the Lord, and departed not from following him, but kept his command commandments, which he which the Lord commanded Moses, and the Lord was with him, and prospered, and he prospered whithersoever he went forth, and he rebelled against the king of Assyria, and served him not. He smote the Philistines even unto Gaza, and the borders thereof, from the tower of the watchman to the fenced city. And it came to pass in the fourth year of King Hezekiah, which was the seventh year of Hoshea, son of Ella, king of Israel, that Shalmaneser, king of Assyria, came up against Samaria and besieged it. And at the end of three years they took it, even in the sixth year of Hezekiah, is that is, in the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, Samaria was taken. And the king of Assyria did carry away Israel unto Assyria, and put them in Hala and in Habor, and by the river Gozon, and in the cities of the Medes. Because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord their God, but transgressed his covenant, and all that Moses the servant of the Lord commanded, it would not hear them, nor do them. Now in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah did Sennacherib, king of Assyria, come up against all the fenced cities of Judah, and took them. And Hezekiah, king of Judah, sent to the king of Assyria, to the Kish, saying, I have offended. Return to me that which thou puttest on me will I bear. And the king of Assyria appointed unto Hezekiah, king of Judah, three hundred talents of silver and thirty talents of gold. And Hezekiah gave him all the silver that was found in the house of the Lord and in the treasures of the king's house. At that time did Hezekiah cut off the gold from the doors of the temple of the Lord and from the pillars which Hezekiah, king of Judah, had overlaid and gave it to the king of Assyria. And the king of Assyria sent Tartan and Rabsaris and Rabshakeh from Lachish to King Hezekiah with the great host against Jerusalem. And they went up and came to Jerusalem. And when they were come up, they came and stood by the conduit of the upper pool, which is in the highway of the Fuller's Field. And when they had called the king, there came out from Elikim, the son of Hilkiah, which was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah, the son of Azapha, the recorder. And Rabshakeh said unto them, Speak ye now, Hezekiah, thus saith the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein thou tr trustest? Thou sayest, but they are not, but vain words. I have counsel and strength for the war. Now on whom dost thou trust, that thou rebellest against me? Now behold, thou trustest upon the staff of this bruised reed, even upon Egypt, on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand, and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt unto all that trust on him. But if ye say unto me, We trust in the Lord our God, is not that he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah hath taken away, and hath said to Judah and Jerusalem, Ye shall worship before this altar in Jerusalem? Now therefore I pray thee, give pledges to the Lord the king of Assyria, and I will deliver thee two thousand horses, if thou be able to, able on thy part to set riders upon them. How then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the less, least of my master's servants, and put thy trust on Egypt for chariots and for horsemen? Am I now come up without the Lord against this place to destroy it? The Lord said to me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Elikim the son of Hilkiah, 
sorry, Hilkiah, the son and Shebna and Joah uh, unto Rabshakeh, speak, I pray thee, to thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and talk not with us the Jews' language in the ears of the people that are, are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said unto them, Has, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the man which sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language and spake, saying, Hear the word of the king, of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus saith the king, Let not Hezekiah deceive you, for he shall not be able to deliver you out of his hand. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord shall surely deliver us, and this city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, Make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and then eat ye every man of his own vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one of the waters of his cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards, a land of olive oil and of honey, that ye may live and not die. And hearken not unto Hezekiah, when he persuadeth you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered at all his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? We are the gods of Hamath and of Arpad. We are the gods of Sepharaim, Hannah, and Iva. They have they delivered Samaria out of mine hand. Who are they among the gods of the countries that have delivered their country out of mine hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of mine hand? But the people held their peace and answered him not with a word. For the king's commandment was saying, Answer him not. Then came Elakim the son of Hilkiah, which was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of As As Asapa the recorder, and Hezekiah and their with their clothes rent, and told them the words of Rabshakeh. Chapter 19 <clears throat> And it came to pass when King Hezekiah heard, heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Elikim, which was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered in, with sackcloth, to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amoz. And they said unto him, Thus saith Hezekiah, this, this day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and blasphemy. But the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear all the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria, his master, hath sent to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which the Lord thy God hath heard. Wherefore, lift up thy prayer for the remnant that are left. So the servants of king Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say to your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, which with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish. And when he heard say of Turkach, king of Ethiopia, Behold, he has come out to fight against thee. He sent messengers again unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by destroying them utterly, and thou shalt be delivered. Have the gods of the nations delivered them that which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozan, and Haran, and Rezpah, and the children of Eden, which are in Thalazar? Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Aprad, and the king of the city of Sepharim, of Hena, and of Iva? And Hezekiah received the letter by the hand of the messengers, and read it. 
And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwells between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone. Of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Open, Lord, thine eyes and see, and hear the words of Sennacherib, which hath sent him to reproach the living God. Of a truth, God, Lord, the king of Assyria has destroyed the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire. For there were no gods but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O, o Lord our God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amoz sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Thou which thou hast pr prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. This is the word that the Lord hath spoken concerning him. The virgin daughter of Zion hath despised thee, and laughed thee to scorn, and the daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed, and against whom hast thou exalted? exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high even against the holy one of israel by the messengers thou hast reproached the lord and and hast said with the multitude of my chariots i am come up to the height of the mountains to the sides of lebanon and will cut down the tall cedar trees thereof and the choice fir trees thereof and i will enter into the lodgings of his borders and into the forest of his carmel I have digged and drunk strange waters, and with the sole of my feet I have dried up all the rivers of besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how how high how I have done it, and and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now have I brought it to pass, and thou shouldest be lay waste fenced cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power; they were dismayed and confounded. They were as grass in the field, and as green herb, as the grass of the housetops, and as corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know they abode, and they going out, and thy going coming in, and thy rage against me, because thy rage against me, and thy tumult is come up in mine ears. Therefore I will put my hook in thy nose, and my bridle in thy lip, and will turn thee back by the way which thou comest. And this shall be a sign unto thee, ye shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves, and in the second year that that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye, and reap and plant vineyards, and ye eat the fruits thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judas shall yet again take root downward, and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and the they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal for the Lord of hosts, shall do this. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the, the same shall he return, and shall not come into the city, saith the Lord, for I will defend the city to save it for mine own sake, and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote the camp of the Assyrians, a hundred, fourscore, and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Shinnishab, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt in Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that a uh, Adramelech and Sharnazer, his son, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia, and Esarhaddon, his son, reigned in his stead.